Hello again. Hope it's going well. Not long to go now before the lockdown is lifted. At least we hope so. Uh, this is being recorded a few days before any announcement is made either way. So hopefully it'll go in our favor and that uh, the end of the school term, because that's what it's going to feel like. And the holidays have started. That's what it's going to feel like, ironically, uh, should everything be lifted and we see one another and have free movement around the community. Martin Luther's words again, the Bible is alive, it speaks to me. It has feet, it runs after me. It has hands, it lays hold on me. We go into the Gospel of John to another story about what happened on, on that, uh, at that Easter time. When Jesus appeared to his disciples on that Easter Sunday evening, uh, Thomas wasn't there. And Thomas was quite different in temperament to most, if not all, the other disciples. So Jesus appears to them, Thomas wasn't there, and when they meet Thomas, they say, Hey, Tom, did you hear? Jesus is alive. Not only is he alive, but he actually appeared to us. We spoke to him. Thomas is skeptical because you know dead people are generally not in the habit of rising he says no ways no ways he says i'm going to need something a little firmer than your word before i believe this story of jesus rising from the dead and here's my condition for believing it he says i want to see the nail prints in jesus hands i want to take my finger and put it in that hand. Then I want to take my hand and put it in the mark that the spear made in Jesus' side. Only then will I believe. Well, a week later, again, as the previous Sunday, the disciples are behind locked doors. And Jesus is there. Suddenly he appears. Like, where did he come from? didn't come through that door. We would have heard him knock and we would have opened. And Jesus goes straight to Thomas and says, Thomas, come here. And he goes up to him and he says, give me your hand. And he places the finger of Thomas in the nail prints that were so deeply in the palm of his hand. And Thomas, give me your hand. And lifting up his garment, he would have put Peter, uh, rather Thomas's hand in Jesus' side. Now, Thomas, stop doubting and believe. Now, there's nothing wrong with asking questions. Nothing wrong in asking the difficult questions. We don't all have the answers. Lots of things that, that I and many other guys who have been in ministry for years and years just don't understand. But you know, doubting can become quite a debilitating habit. We doubt absolutely everything. And it can become a habit of mind such that Jesus comes to Thomas and he says, Thomas, stop doubting. Stop doubting. Hear that? There comes a point where we actually have to face up to things and say, you know what? I've got to make a choice. Am I going to believe this? Or am I not going to believe this? But let's not sort of blow hot and cold. Jesus is alive. Let's believe that. Let's affirm that. That's what we do. We say Christ Jesus is alive. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And Jesus says to Thomas, Thomas, you believe because you have put your hand in my hand. There are others who will believe despite not having had any physical proof whatsoever. That's you and me that he's talking about. So friends, let's try and avoid this habit of constantly, constantly doubting. Let's make a firm decision. This is how it's going to be in my life. Jesus is alive. And I will honor him and I will follow him as he has asked me to do.
God be with you. We'll chat again sometime soon.